Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for joining me today. It is Saturday here when I am recording this. Not exactly sure what day this video is going to go up. Hopefully Saturday. But this weekend I am fair prepping to enter items into the fair. This isn't the fair where you sell stuff. It's where you win ribbons. So that's what we're doing. So hey friends, thanks for joining me today in the kitchen, and I'm not cooking, <laughs> I'm melting yarn to yarn. So today I am trying to finish up my axolotl that I made with the eco tie-dye yarn that is discontinued, but Michaels has the twisted tone yarn that is the same, and they do have this colorway in the twisted tones at my Michaels in stock so there's that <laughs> but anyway today I am trying to glue this um I don't know if you'd call it a fin or what but it starts about right here on the bottom side of the axolotl and it just goes around the body up to about the back of the neck and this is a little bit long, so I'm going to kind of make it wavy um, where it's not going in just a straight line. I'm going to curve it a little bit so that it might end up the right size. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the kitchen today. You will see some platters and pans, air freshener, Big Daddy's Big Daddy fryer. <laughs> my peel grinder and a tea maker so i think that's all you see but yeah we're in the kitchen um just because i needed more room to get this done right so i'm going to start about right there and uh, i'm nervous about doing this because once glue touches the yarn and that touches another yarn you can't remove it it's there it's permanent somebody asked me how long does it hold forever okay it holds forever so yeah it is there once you stick it so here we go i'm just gonna try to i'm just gonna glue a little bit at a time and hope you know that hope I'm not messing up <laughs> oh I gotta get it make sure I got it upside down Whew, glad I saw that so I'm working from the bottom side to the top side and I'm gonna start with the piece that I ended with um, you know I chained and then I, I chained a whole chain and then I came back and double crocheted into that chain. And so here's where it ended. So I'm going to start with that on the bottom side. Wish me luck. Wish me luck, y'all. It has started. Uh, I am nervous about this because I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up and I'm just going to kind of hold it each little section just give it time to dry before I go lifting it up to glue more I need one more hand or either seven more fingers <laughs> I'm just afraid I'm gonna um, kind of mess up Let's see, I'm going to give that just a little bit of time to dry. I also have my feet. Let me just see. I can I can probably stick those on real quick. Let me see. I have um, while I have it upside down, I could just stick these feet on here. I think that's what I will do. Let me go ahead and try to stick in a new glue stick maybe to catch it and pull it on all right here we go okay 
Okay, and I'm just kind of sticking it on, okay? <laughs> I mean, you just have to take a chance, really and truly. Okay, I'll hold that one down just a little bit to um, let that dry, let the, the glue cool just a little bit and dry so that it is stuck on. And I'm just going to put this one on there. I mean, it is what it is. It turns out however how it turns out. It's there. <laughs> it's there. It's there. You can't change it once you get it on there. So it is what it is. All right. I'm, I'm going to hold these down for just a moment and let that dry. You know, the glue cool is what I mean by drying because it does why it's still um, hot, it might could, um, you know, come up a little bit and not glue down as tight and show glue. And I don't really want it to show glue. So, and then these are going to go right here. Can't really hold. I don't have a good grip, but I smell that glue melting. <laughs> this acrylic yarn. Well, yeah, this is recycled acrylic. This yarn is. So it's not really soft, soft yarn. It's it's kind of the roughest yarn and when you're crocheting with it it does it's a really still hard yarn and it's kind of like crocheting with walmart plastic bags or something like that i've seen people cut plastic bags and crochet with them i think it's called plorn um i've never been interested in doing that just because i have a ton of yarn and i know people make mats for homeless and all but i'd rather make a blanket and give them but, um, but I don't know that I could crochet with porn that much anyway. This like to kill my hands, honestly. But I still have some of this yarn. I'm still going to crochet with it, even though it was hard on my hands. Um, I can suffer for a little bit. I mean, you know, if your hand hurts while you're crocheting, it's not the end of the world. And so I can... I can suffer a little bit. If you don't have any pain in your game, are you really doing anything? <laughs> I'm just being silly. I know that, you know, sometimes the pain is too great. It is for me, too. It is. All right. I hope these are about even. I'm not really expecting this to, like, stand up, but, hey, it might. Who knows? <laughs> now, these are not the original legs that came with this pattern. Um, the original legs for the pattern were a, you made them as you went, like, as you were crocheting. You st stopped right there, and you chained and then you did some things and then you chained back down and then went on with the row well i don't like that first off i didn't like the little legs they were like the legs on those froggy leggy frogs or whatever um just a chain and slip stitches or it might have been a single crochet but it's not they're just kind of like curled and i don't know they look weird I'm not, I'm just not a fan of those legs. I mean, on the froggy thing, the leggy froggy, they look okay. But on something this size, I would expect some legs. <laughs> That's just me. Alright, so, back to this 
fin. I'm calling it a fin. I don't know what other people really call it. Big Daddy is watching TV, and I hope that's not coming through because I know that would be very annoying. Um, but anyway, I was trying to make this a little bit wavy just so that it doesn't end up too long once I get to the back of it, I mean to the front side. So letting that cool. Now, tomorrow is the day we're supposed to enter things into the fair, so I'm trying to finish up last-minute touches on some things. I'm not trying to finish up big projects, just things that are, like, almost done that just needs to, like, the head sewn on or things like that. Stuffed or, you know, whatever. So, trying to finish up a few last-minute things, and I'm... I'm not sure about the fair for tomorrow. I'm not really sure where we're even supposed to go. Our fair is going to be in a new location this year. Um, you know, we got the old location down pat. We know exactly what to do. But they're having it in West Monroe this year, which is new because it's always been at the Monroe Civic Center. And this year they're going to have it at the West Monroe Ike. And so, yeah, we don't know where to go. We have no idea when we get there. We're just going to be asking questions and trying to figure out what to do. Now, at Monroe, we know how to go in through the back way, and we don't have to pay to go into the fair just to go drop our stuff off. But I don't know what it's going to be like at the Ike. We don't know where to go. And so, that might, you know, want us to pay to go in just to enter our stuff. And that's not cool because I'm not there for the fair. Yes, this will work out perfect, I think. You know, I think right here, I might have been doing doubles. Looks like I might have put two single crochets in it right there. But, I think it's going to be just fine. So I'm kind of just holding this for a second, like I always do. Um, on this fin, actually you're supposed to like crochet it on, but there's no like straight line here to crochet it down. And I, I considered it, and I looked, and I actually did put my hook in, but then I was like, this is going to be the crookedest mess I've ever done. <laughs> so, I decided my best bet was to do something like this. And I think this will be just fine. Let's see, this I think I can make straight. I just got to try to make a... I'd probably be better off putting this on the fin instead of this body, but I need another hand. <laughs> Let that dry. I've also got ice to put on it, and I got ice with the, um, it's the clear eyes. I mean, they're black with clear around them, and I can stick on the pink glitter. And see, that's just a little ring that's cut out, and then it's like hole punched in the middle. 
So I'm going to glue those in. It is standing up, so I do like that. I know my arms are getting in the way, but honestly, it's just the way it is. The camera's not moving around me. I'm moving around, <laughs> and so it is what it is. But I like it. I like it. I like how it's turning out. I'm pretty proud of that. Just got to get the rest done. part right here that's just not drying too good so let me just hold that down for a minute what are you guys up to today do you have projects you're finishing up for a certain reason maybe not the fair but maybe you need to just deliver them or get them in the mail or whatever or just you know sometimes we're just tired of working on a project and we're ready to get it done maybe you got projects like that <laughs> I just got other things I'm moving on to next week, so I'm trying to get some of these bigger projects, um, whether I put them in the fair or not, um, done and off my desk, because I need my desk for next week. Ugh. And now my fingernail's got a snag in it. Okay, I'm going to give that a moment to dry. I'm going to load up this with some more ammunition. I don't have that much more to go, but I think it's turning out good. You can see the bottom. I have the legs, and I started that fin. And I did make it curvy around there at the bottom under the belly. Just because, not the belly, but the under the fin, tail, tail, it's a tail. Just because I wanted to take up a little space so that it didn't come up on the head. I want it to end at about the neck. And it will. It will. So, I'm happy with that. But anyway, my Saturday's going good. I did, um... <sighs> I did, you know, get some sleep, and so, I got up and started working. Started working on these projects that I got to get done today. I can't just sit around. Big Daddy said he was going to help me, but um, he's in there asleep on the couch. On the love seat in the den, I went back there to say, hey, are you ready? But he was conked out, so he needs it. I ain't mad at him. <laughs> he needs to rest. He had a really rough week last week. He worked a lot, a lot of hours. Most of them in the first two days. <laughs> but he worked a lot of hours, and... Um, so this is his first day off in a couple weeks, really. Well, he took that Friday off that we went to Shreveport, but I mean, he didn't get the rest. He was driving and, you know, taking me to my doctor's appointment and stuff. You know, we had that meet and greet. So anyway, it wasn't a restful day. It was on the road, busy day. So today is his first day off in a while because he has been working the weekends um, for the past several weeks, month, I don't know. Alright, I think it might need just a little glue right here on the very tip. And I know you couldn't see what I was doing right there, 
because my hand's in the way, but I had to just do it. Isn't that cool? It looks good. I like that. Now I gotta do the eyes. Okay. So on these eyes, I am trying to figure out what, uh oh, where is my other ring in there? Okay. My eyes are gonna go like right here and right here. stuck my eyes in and I'm gonna try to just blend those in I am looking to make sure that they you know look even I've got them lined up with this first gill right here on each side I know this video is not at a great angle but I have a couple big projects I'm doing today and my desk just isn't big enough Okay, I'm going to shove a bunch of glue in this. And stick this down in there. And hold it. And I got one more eye. And I'm going to check everything and see if anything needs any more glue. I was going to go around this with some peep squid yarn. But I, I don't have time. i gotta, I got to work on other projects. So I may or may not do that later. But right now I just got to get projects fair ready. And this will be fair ready. This will be fair ready as soon as the eyes are on it. And I just check all the little pieces to make sure that, you know, it doesn't need a dot of glue anywhere. Right now I'm just squishing the eyes down. Trying to, um, you know, let them cool. Make sure they're set. I like it. I think this turned out really cute. I like the colors of this yarn. I had four of these and it took one and almost another hole. So about one and a third probably. I think that is good. I'm going to just double check this under here. It is good. I like it. Okay, here's what one side looks like. And here is what the other side looks like. And underneath it, it is good. I mean, that glue is wonderful. I love hot glue. I, you know, I just can't sew these pieces on. And I know... That it's better if you do that, you know, it, whatever. But in my situation, hot glue is my friend, okay? <laughs> I need to cut, trim this little fuzz right there. I think that's where I, um, my tail, where I crocheted around my tail. All right, there is my oxalotl. Very finished and ready to go make her way to the fair. So, uh, thank you for watching and hanging out with me today. See how she does stand? I didn't want you to see that. But, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you all have a great weekend. I will be back with more videos because i got a lot of work to do. And I'm just checking in with y'all and 
Letting you see what I'm up to today. Bye, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I was working on this project and getting it done. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet or do any of your other hobbies. But I hope you are doing something that brings you happiness this weekend. Take care of yourself and I will see you all in the next video.